Good morning, y'all. Fireman Scott here. Welcome back to my daily PLO poker vlog. Doing something a little bit different this morning. I spent so much time working on the vlog. Yesterday, I was in the computer for like 12 hours and I needed to unplug for a little bit, but that doesn't mean that I stopped doing goat things. Have you ever wondered how sometimes you hear a story about a pro who enters a World Series bracelet event or ring event in a game that they've never even played and they end up winning the whole thing? Well, this is one of the biggest secrets to poker, guys. And I know if you're watching my channel, it's because you want to get better at poker. And I'm trying to tell you the secret to doing it. It's not by learning an X's and O's pattern and sticking to that pattern. It's about creatively thinking and knowing how to problem solve. I, and this morning, I went back to the, the old you know notebook because I didn't want to be in the computer. And I started thinking about early problem solving my roots. You know, I'm, I'm studying like I used to study pen and paper ideas and made me think of my roots. And uh, yesterday doing yoga, it was uh, a lot of thinking about grounded and being to the roots. And you know, there's a story that uh, I've told to my friends before and it's so important. And this is one time when I remember really looking at a problem, trying to find a solution, coming up with a way to win. And I gotta tell you, it's a real story. I'm just gonna say it because I'm trying not to cuss so much on here. So I'm, you know, marking it down here. It's a real story. Now look, I know that some of these words might be misspelled, but um, I don't even care. I haven't even looked back to see. I hope that some of them are because I want you to know that that's what I mean a lot of times is I don't concentrate so much on the details as I do the ideas of getting there. So that's one of my big philosophies. So I hope some of these miswords are misspelled, but it's basically a story of when I was a child, about four years old, and I kept getting out of bed and going to the restroom because I didn't want to go to sleep. And my old man was at the end of the hallway reading his book as he always was and he told me he was tired of me getting out of bed and he was going to whip my butt if I did it again and of course because I always like to test my limits I get out of bed and he said what are you up for and I said I gotta poop and he said okay but he sensed that I might not be telling the truth here that I might be coming up with another excuse so he said when you're finished call me in I want to see it and if you don't poop you're gonna get whipped so now we're in trouble we've got a problem okay this is poker and this is how you have to think about poker okay just like this it's just like any other situation but in plo there's lots of complicated problems on every street you're going to run into problems this is a basic one when i was four years old and this is the way i chose to look here just on this one little story what do we come down to Game, game theory, psychology, confidence, problem solving, awareness, storytelling, courage, exception, ugh, acceptance, and way down here at the bottom, deception. Okay, we'll skip over game theory just for a second. We'll come back to it. We're coming back to the psychology part of it, okay? To come up with a creative way to win this game, I had to have a lot of awareness, which is down here. I had to use psychology. What was I thinking? What was my father thinking? I had to use storytelling. I had to tell him a story. I had to find a story that he was receptive to learning and one that I could tell well. I had to accept that I might lose. I might lose this game and I might get my butt whipped. I also have to accept that there's some ways that I can win and some ways that I can't win. There's just facts to what's going on around me, okay? I got a problem. What have I missed here? Confidence. To win this game, I'm going to have to have a lot of confidence and I got to have the courage to display that confidence and to stick to my plan that I came up with through a lot of different things. But a lot of it is game theory. Do you guys know what that is? Game theory? 
anything. Well, this is like one way to solve a problem. And this is one way you solve problems in poker and well, everything else. But let's just apply it here. This is a, a problem you're gonna run onto on any street in, in poker and PLO. But this is just me sitting on the toilet as a little kid. I have a few options, right? How can I win this game? Well, I could do nothing. Root. I could do nothing, which is basically like, it's basically like checking, right? Check. And if I do that, what happens? Well, if I just sit there and do nothing, eventually the old man's gonna come in there and see that there's no poop in the toilet because I don't have to go to the bathroom and there's no poop coming out of me in any way. So if I just sit there and do nothing or check, he's eventually gonna come in there. He's gonna look in the toilet, see that I haven't gone to the bathroom, he's gonna whip my butt and I'm gonna lose. So let's put an L there. I can admit to defeat. That's real honorable, right? That's real honorable, huh? That's basically checking, I guess also. Let's do a check there. And that of course is a loss. Although here's the thing with um, with just admitting in there, with going in there and saying, "Dad, you know what? I, I was I was wrong. I didn't have to to poop. I just wanted to get out of bed." And you know, he might not punish me as severely as I think he's going to, but he's still going to punish me. I'm still going to lose the game. It's still a loss. So we move to another strategy. I could flush it and claim ignorance. Oops, and I thought about this one. I really did. I thought about it big time. I thought about just flush it. Say, yeah, dad, I really win. I just, you know, I flush. But even if I do that, I'm gonna lose the game. Old man's gonna whip my butt for that, for sure. So why do it? The next one is talk my way out of it get some sympathy, right? I am his son, he loves me for goodness sake, right? Still a loss, he's still going to punish me, just may not be as severely, but I still lose. So I'm looking at this, have you guys ever watched that movie, A Beautiful Mind, uh, it's with Russell Crowe? It's about this uh, professor, this guy Steve Nash, and he came up with this game theory and it about Look, I'm, I'm not telling you to learn everything you know from a movie. I'm saying get a good start with it. Maybe it'll get, it's so, it's such a good movie. It'll suck you into the ideas of game theory and then you can study it more further. But if you look at this chart, man, it sucks because every option right here, although some may punish less or more, they all are losses. But there's another option. There's another option. You see, my father, he's indifferent. And as I'm sitting there as a four-year-old on the toilet trying to figure that out, I, I realized the old man's indifferent. He's, he's just going to act accordingly, right? If I go to the bathroom, then I had to go to the bathroom and good night, I love you, son, see you in the morning. If I didn't poop in the toilet then I'm doing what I'm not supposed to, and he's gonna whip my butt and teach me a lesson. He's going to act accordingly, but he's indifferent to either one, either option. Also, if I was able to poop in the toilet, I would be indifferent too. Dad, come look at it. Yeah, I had to poop, I love you. See you in the morning. But if I didn't poop in the toilet, I would be indifferent. I would be nervous. I would be upset because I knew I was about to be in trouble. So, I had to show my indifferent father that I was indifferent as well. This was a hard plan to pull off. This... This, my friends, is a bluff.
This is the only way to win, sometimes. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of cunning and planning. It's down here at the bottom, sometimes. You can face a lot of ridicule. It's hard to pull off. It's down here at the bottom also where deception is, right? And if you want to reach high levels, sometimes I don't have anything more creative to do with that. Basically, high risks and high rewards. The high risks are down here sometimes, but the rewards are really high. I was pretty courageous that morning or that night. I stepped out into the hallway and I said, Dad, I'm finished. You can come check now, look at my poop. And he said, no son, just flush it. I love you, see you in the morning. Click subscribe if you like the channel. Thank you. Who wants smoke? This that vibe, this that heat, this that vibe. Who wants smoke? This that vibe from the bottom to the top. Nah, I ain't gonna let up.